The second Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg has come to an end. But Vladimir Putin is hoping it will mark the beginning of Russia's new plan for Africa. He's seeking a bigger role, similar to that of the Soviet Union in the past century. Many people here know that the Soviet Union and Russia never assumed that we should only buy raw materials from Africa. How many enterprises, power plants, steel factories did the Soviet Union build in Africa? We must return to this practice, as my colleague has just said, and we will do this both bilaterally and on international platforms. At the summit, the Russian president pledged to maintain grain supplies to Africa, laying the blame on the West for soaring global food prices. He also announced writing off $23 billion of African debts, the establishment of an African-Russian security coordination mechanism, and most importantly, discussed a peace plan for Ukraine presented by African leaders. President Putin has shown us that he is ready to dialogue and find a solution. Now we need to convince the other side. I hope we can do that. We have established once again that it can be done, and this gives us optimism. We are acting as a mediator. We will talk to one side and the other. I hope that we will achieve positive results. Nothing has really changed from last June when the initiative was first announced. African leaders here know the limitations they face when it comes to the peace plan for Ukraine. They know too well that brokering a deal to end the war wouldn't be an easy task, but in the middle of a global crisis that's affecting their citizens' lives and interests, they want to be heard loudly. And that's why they are in Russia and could soon travel to Ukraine. Obviously, uh, the, the conflict is more complicated, more complex than that, and that it will take more than just a round of African head of state going there and, and preaching Good feelings. While there's no guarantees Africa's initiative could change the dynamics of the war in Ukraine, a bolder Russian role in Africa could escalate an already tense struggle for power in the continent. Ali Hashim Al Jazeera, St. Petersburg.